These clothes feel so nice. <sighs> yes. Hey, come here, sleepyhead. Come on, it's just the sun. Look, it's worth it. Whoa! It's... Well, it's... Like a dream? Yes, exactly like my dream. Quickly, let's eat something and get going. Come on. Beautiful! Can we go play? Hey, we're here to know why you dreamt about this place, right? Yes! Let's go! What perfect weather for exploration! Yes! Island explorers! Let's find the exit first. Whoa, look at that! It's so big! Now I'm counting on you, all right? If you see anything... Yes! I'll keep my eyes piled! Peeled? <laughs> we say keep my eyes peeled. Oh! That's horrible! It's... <laughs> yes, it's horrible. This place truly is something. It's so big! I would get lost! I could get used to it. Would you be a countess? Oh, no. Too many responsibilities. Good day to you. Good day. Thank you. It's going to be a hot day. Oh, you're right about that. I can't imagine having to wear Is that helmet. Is that the way out? Got to be I suppose. Let us this guard. So... Yes. I heard. Hello. Can we go outside? Slept well? Sophia, hi. Nice to see you. How did you know where you'd be? That's my life, sweetheart. Wake up early, observe, listen, and make the best of it. That's how I discovered Armo was in jail. Yes, that bastard. He betrayed us. And worse, he used Hugo. What kind of use could he make of such a tiny creature? Or are you more useful than you look like, little one? I'm not joking, Sophia. Arno may be your friend, but he almost got us killed. So you spent the night celebrating his capture with the Count of Provence and his wife? No, I don't care about them. I kneel to no lord, Sophia. No count, no king, no one. I only care about him. All right. I hit a nerve there. I was teasing you. I just like to know who my friends really are. And I like what I hear. Come. Let's take a walk. Yes! I took some time to wander around this morning. Do you know where you're going yet? Not yet, no. Take your time. Weather's just fine. People are partying. Even the guards are quite nice. This is why we're not in jail already. Oh, a bird! You're right. Is it the one from your dream? Almost. It's funny. It looks like it's looking at something. Oh, a treasure hunt. Already? Well, let's see what he sees. So, a dream and a bird. Hmm. Hugo's been dreaming about this place a lot since before we came here. And each time there was a bird. All right. There. Why not? It was looking at another bird. You're right. So what's this one looking at? Only one way to find out. Everything's so different from Guyenne. Even the smells. Yes, it smells hot. It's never hot in Guyenne. Not in the same way. I trust you. Hello there. Hello. Hello. You ready? Just about. I don't want to miss the ceremony. To the Kuna.
This is all nice, but wouldn't the church consider it utter heresy? Yes. You have to be a count to take that kind of risk. This island is pretty remote. I guess that helps. And there's no eye gold can't close. What's going on here? Not too tired, Hugo. No, I'm good. We've walked a lot. This island is quite big. Look, another bird. It's looking at these columns. That's exciting. Let's go and see. Tell me this is it. What do you see? I see columns. It's beautiful. Nice find. Some sort of uh, antique theater? Yes, it looks important. Now let's see. showed the way. The island. It's a map of the island. It's antique. I'd say hundreds of years old. Probably Byzantium? There is a lot of those around here. Look, Amicia! That's the drawing! What drawing? The drawing of the Order! Yes! I see it! What Order? A very ancient Order of Alchemists. You overheard us on the boat, Sophia. Hugo is sick. It's not contagious. Still, the Order wanted to lock him away to do whatever they pleased. But I... But you kneel to no one. I get it. So, what did you come here looking for? Whatever can help him. It's simple. If this symbol indicates important areas. That one... Well, that one is pretty hard to miss. The teeth! They're called Las Madres, the mothers. Oh. I know, boring. It makes sense. Let's go visit those mothers, then. Those teeth. Are you coming with us? If you want me to. I told you. I owe you. Come on, then. Yes, we are gonna climb! The view from up there must be quite a sight. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Come on. Up. Oh. All right. Look! There's a house in the teeth! Yes. Some kind no. of uh, temple? Sanctuary. That's what I've heard it called. But now I'm even more curious about it. Sold. This is our first stop. It seems so nice. So we've got a magic bird, an ancient order of alchemists. The little one has visions. <laughs> well, just what else can I expect? Hugo's sickness is special. Our mother's an alchemist, but she couldn't do anything about it. It's almost like a curse. Who could curse such a cute baby? I'm not a baby! It's the bloodline. This thing goes back to the dawn of times. It's unfair, but... This is real, Sophia. In Guienne, the Inquisition came after us over this. We barely made it here. It was horrible. 
They killed everybody. Damn. All right. We'll find what you came for. You have my word. Thank you. To the sanctuary. So we're done here for now? Yes, let's go. It's gonna be quite a walk. First to the top! Hey, easy, I don't wanna carry you! Chicken! <laughs> Are you tired? We've been walking a while. It's not as high as it looked. Don't be disappointed. We're not there yet. <laughs> Looks like someone's more tired than you. <laughs> I don't like mountains. Everything I need is at sea level. I like mountains. They're big and tall, so when you're on top of it, you're big and tall too. You know, it's his first time climbing one. Well, in that case, let's be big and tall together. Damn, it's getting hot. Oh. Look! We're almost at the sanctuary! Do you know what almost means? Come on, it will be worth the sweat. Look at the size of it. So what do you expect to find up there? I want to see the real bird. Or the tree. Or the pond. I'd prefer an elixir. Something to really help you, Hugo. Maybe the bird will have it. Oh, spring water! How can he run in this heat? Child skill. He can also fall asleep in a snap. <clears throat> mm, it looks so fresh. It is. Just what I need anyway. Hey, Hugo, you have some dirt on your face. I'll get it for you. Ah! <laughs> water attack! Hey! <laughs> Counter attack. The all right, know. all right, all right. I Bird yield. You soaked me to death. I win! <laughs> <laughs> A sailor defeated by water. He shot me in the eyes, all right? I did it on purpose. <laughs> That's my brother. Talk about family. Well done, Hugo. I'll have my revenge. That sanctuary is huge. Yes. Carving that must have hurt. Oh, goats. There are a lot of Mesia. Don't be scared. They much prefer their olive leaves to little children. Yes, but they scream. I'm here. Well, well, well. Our fierce warrior is afraid of goats. There are too many. You're heading to the child sanctuary? We are. Oh, I'm afraid you're too late. They closed the gate, as you can see, for the ceremony. A ceremony? Oh, we came all this way for the little one. Ah, oh, well, that goat path to the side will take you closer. But you'll have to look from afar. The Count and Countess are up there, and the guards are on edge since yesterday's mess. They won't take kindly to uninvited guests. We'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if you stumble on Tramontan, please send her back here. This is one of my goats. We'll try. Good luck, then. I hope she won't attack us. Oh, come on. It's a goat, not a wolf. But they scream. Oh, they do. So they locked down the sanctuary. Just our luck. On the bright side, you don't lock a place down if it doesn't hold something important. Yes. I'm even more curious now. Listen. Is that the goat he talked about? Tremontan, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's keep going. But Tremontan... She'll find her way back, don't worry. 
difficult to climb us. The sanctuary is more important for now. Thank you for your offerings. Sorry to push you out, but the ceremony will begin soon. Hmm. Soldier. Oh, no problem. Make sure no trouble arises. Climb up. Yes, we had enough violence yesterday. The child must up have we go. it. We'll be especially careful. <laughs> Don't worry. Good. Well, thank you, Arno. Oh. What do we do with the last offerings? They stay here for now. Careful. We'll bring them up there after the ceremony. Looks like they really like their privacy here. How will we cross that gate? There's no way I can attack them. We get jailed or worse. I have a trick. This prism focuses sunlight. It can scorch tall grass. You get smoke. You get any guard's attention. Wow. Let's try. Tell me where you want a guard to go. Tall grass only. The child knows. Yes. Try that one. Important. It worked. Damn what, right? These damn units. All clear. You know the Count. He likes to keep it formal. Yeah. Sophia, your drink will help yeah, you. Well, it won't take long to burn. Next time, we'll ask to stand guard near the ruins. Smoke? What's going on? I think it's so easy. Here's the door. Let's be quick. Nothing. Walk a bit on solid ground. Oh, all those flowers that must be for their ceremony. Soldiers, the soldiers, to cover quick. Soon. Open your eyes. Heavy armor. Wow, I oh, no, really kept them on their toes. Looks like we're crossing a line here. Getting spotted is not an option anyway. We'd either get killed or kicked off the island. What? I saw something. I'll check. He knows we're here. Let's capture the light. The hell? <gasps> What's that smoke? Alarm again. Should have known. Up there. More of them. Sophia, your present would help. Time to burn some grass. <gasps> Where's that smoke coming from? Every time. Hey, the Count wants no soldier inside Nothing the sanctuary, about. all right? Got it! We'll be sacrilege anyway. The child needs peace, not weapons. Every time. Hey. Work 
takes everything. Your prison would help. It won't take long to burn. Someone's lurking about. <coughs> Let me know if you see anything. They make it so easy. Come on, it works. Feel so Hugo. I feel funny, but good. I'm sure there's something inside the mountain. Everyone, I feel it too. Well, time. I'm trusting you both. Please. It's the Count and the Countess. It seems we're right on time. We're still waiting for a few latecomers. Feel free to come closer in the meantime. Latecomer. Friends and children. Today marks the longest day of the year. The light of the summer solstice shines upon us once again. And yet, in these cold hallways, hidden from the sun, the child of embers still slumbers. It is time to bring the flame of the phoenix... The phoenix? ...to his dormant That's embers. Your bird. Thus will we prove that we deserve to care for him. Like mother. Like father. Let us pray together before we enter. Come. What do you think? Bold, but believable. Are we dressing up? Open your mind and heart. It is now time to tell his tale. So that it is never forgotten. What do we do? Let's follow them on our turn and do what they say. They mustn't recognize us. Yes. Come on. Centuries ago, a child was born on this land. His heart was blessed by the sun, from which he inherited the flame that rules everything. And so was born the child of fire. What? His flame shone over the world. He blessed it with his perfume, his laughter, his joy. Of all places, Lacuna was his home. It became a land of life and peace. A place to heal, to thrive. Lacuna became a cradle of light. But light tempts evil. And evil knows no mercy. Come. A child on a throne, in an order temple. It's him, the child of Enders. Take your place at our sides. Look, the drawing. It's the carrier of the macula. That fresco was in Mother's laboratory at home. Please.
Please kneel. Evil found the child inside these very halls. It fed on his fire, weakened it, marked his flesh with coal black scars. His mother's arms couldn't warm him anymore. And so his light faded, almost entirely. And the child of fire turned into the child of embers. Lord. A dark era began. Men forgot about him, but we did not. This flame is the last gleam of his light. Our hope, and now two of you, a woman and a child, will carry it through his night. You, your heads are bent. Your humility honors you. You will walk his flame through his darkest hours. Take it. You will walk in his steps. Know the cold that bites the flesh, the drowning in the absence of light, the uncertainty. You will see the child die through the eyes of his mother. You will be the victim and the witness. Keep that torch alive at all costs. The carriers have been chosen. Take your places. What do we do? We have to play along. Let's cross. Go forth and bring him the light. Much depends on it. This is unreal. It's ghost frescoes. The plague. They think it was caused by the child's death. So they don't know the man killer? I don't think so. They interpreted all this. They made a god out of the carrier of the macula. Amicia, the water will put out the torch. I think it's part of their ritual, drowning in the absence of light. <laughs> I'm cold. It's over. We'll soon warm up. <coughs> it was horrible. But you did it. I thought I was drowning. Calm down. You're fine now. No, I'm scared. The child is coming. <gasps> Just walk. I'm with you. He's dying in his mother's arms. Evil has won. Centuries pass. Famine, war, and plague descend on us. He dreams of fire every morn. You are back I'm and your torch is gone. I'm scared. You are not alone anymore. The child must meet his mother again. His embers glow in the dark. I am the mother, and I welcome him. Pass it to me. You did well. The, the child, child must rise again. again. Hear me, child. I am not barren anymore, for your flame lives in me. I am the mother. Become the phoenix, the child of fire reborn. Join us. Blow on these flames. <gasps> May the breeze of life reignite his flame. 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 They'll see we're gone. Not for now. We all look the same. Kidding.
child's throne. He... he left here. Their child of embers? There's no child of embers. I told you about the order. This place belonged to them. And this child on the frescoes? It's the carrier of the Prima Macula. The Prima Macula. This just gets better and better. Alchemists call it the first corruption. It awoke in Hugo's blood when he was a baby. It keeps growing inside him. And it's killing him. That's what this whole place is about. The advent of a carrier of the macula. The order gathering around him, studying him, trying to find a solution. And uh, rats. Let me guess. Death, war, disease, and famine. Not only. The rats are... Anyway, they got it all wrong. There's no child of embers that will come and save the world. It's a fantasy they crafted to fit their hopes. All of it sounds like a crazy fantasy to me. Part of it is true. The part that can save him. The only part that matters. Basilius and Alia. Nothing's changed. That water's not magic. The water? Oh, from the healing pond in your dream. It's like a symbol. Like mother's alchemic drawings. Stagnating water is red. Come, I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. <laughs> What's all this? Are we the first to come in here? Oh, a tent! You're right. It looks untouched. Too sacred for them, maybe? Room it is. It is. It's Basilius's room. Just imagine. He was living here, playing here, sitting where you sit. Isn't that astonishing? Yes. And he loved tents, just like you. You love tents? Me too. He had a phoenix. Yes. Maybe he dreamt the same dream as you. Let's see what else he left us. shape of the armor. What of it? It's a lady's armor. Oh, Aelia. This is her room, of course. She was his protector. Protector? The carrier's personal guard. Like me for Hugo. She looks strong. Look, wax tablets. They're carved. He drew her. And there, he drew himself with her. 
He loved her. It looks like they spent a lot of time together. Just like us. This is so strange. It is. Let's keep on. This is crazy. I feel like... Like I know them. Like Basil could have been my friend. I know what you mean. Oh, look! Huh, that bird again. Its shape. It's the Order's symbol. The Phoenix is the Order. It's just that. Um, sorry, boy. But no! That explains why it stands above the child on their frescoes. They thought they were better than him. They didn't care about him. It doesn't change why we're here. Come, let's finish this first, right? Hmm. But it looks exactly like what you're searching for, no? Yes, but... <laughs> no, you're right. Look for anything that could lead to an elixir. A, a potion, like books, drawings, maybe raw materials. On it. An Athenor. <sighs> no. Whatever's been cooked in there is long gone. This place is crazy. This is all useless. Please, I need something. Hey, something's wrong? I'm sure they hurt him too. I know things aren't turning out the way you expected, but... Nothing ever changes, Amicia. But Aelia wouldn't let them hurt him, right? You... You let Vodan... No! I... I tried to stop it, but... I, I know. You tried. Sorry. Hey, come here, you two. Sophia, where are you? Upstairs. How did you get there? Look behind the curtains. Come on, Hugo. <clears throat> what is this? No door. Some sort of uh, observation hallway? <gasps> what have you found? Your alchemist library. Looks like they were observing the child from here. Like he was in a cage. We're right above the laboratory table. It's wrong. Imagine these bastards standing there, looking at him. We have to focus on what they learned. I may have a lead. Any mention of a kill? No, but they took other notes. What is it? Your alchemists wrote down everything that happened to the carrier. It's sorted by date. The last entry was in the year 541. 541? What does it say? I haven't studied Latin since the convent, but it talks about Basilius. And, uh, um, Aelia Dragus, his protector. It really did all happen. They were just like us. What happened to them? The Order took away the carrier from her. She rebelled and was arrested close to a round tower. They took her to a, a, a capella, a, a chapel, inside a fort. And Basilius, where is he? It doesn't say. Well, we have something to go on. A fort, a round tower. They're coming. 
coming. We're lucky they didn't come sooner. Yes, let's get out of here fast. Seal our determination. To stand by your side, day and night. I feel your sickness. I share your pain. We will protect you. We will care for you. I am the father. I am waiting for you. I am the mother. I am waiting for you. Join us. Whenever you feel ready, we are. Spend a full week at sea with my crew. Changes your notion of stench forever. That was enough for me. Let's go to that fort. Hugo? There was no fort in my dream. Maybe. But your dream put us on the right track. Look at all we've learned. Now we just have to find out the rest. Don't you want to know what happened to that Alia? And your ancestor? going to be all right. Um, can we take these stinky clothes off now? Yes, we should. <laughs> 